everybody. Hope you've had a great week. And for those of you that started back to school this week, I hope it's been an extra great week for you getting back into, into your schoolwork. Um, I'm recording this on Friday afternoon and it's snowing outside as I record it. And that's always exciting and fun to see the snow. So hope you get to enjoy that today. Um, we're going to begin a series of Bible stories about children in the Bible. There are a number of children that are mentioned and have really neat stories uh, that we're going to explore for the next uh, several weeks. The first child we're going to talk about is Jesus. There are lots of little stories that we read about, about Jesus as a child, and we're going to go over those stories uh, today. Uh, most of those stories are found in the books of Matthew and Luke in the Bible. Well, of course, the first story about Jesus as a child is when he was born in Bethlehem to Mary. Mary and Joseph had traveled from Nazareth to Bethlehem, and it's, we're told in the Bible that, they, that Mary wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, and that the shepherds hear the good news from angels, and they go to see baby Jesus in Bethlehem. The next story is when baby Jesus is presented at the temple. And we think this was probably about, about a month after he was born. And they take baby Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem um, to offer a sacrifice of two turtle doves. While they're at the temple, a man named Simeon, who was a devout and just man, was led to Jesus and held him. And he said, My eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. And Simeon also said, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rising of many in Israel. Simeon saw God's salvation in Jesus. And while they were at the temple, a prophetess named Anna, who we're told was very elderly, also recognized Jesus as God's son. She gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all those who looked for redemption in Israel. The third story that we hear about Jesus as a child is when the wise men visit Jesus. We're told in Matthew about the wise men who recognized a bright star in the sky and followed it to Jerusalem where they asked King Herod about it and asked where the king of the Jews was born. King Herod consulted his chief priests and scribes and discovered the child was in Bethlehem. So the wise men went on their way and, and worshiped Jesus. It says they fell down and worshiped him and gave him expensive gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. God spoke to the wise men in a dream and told them not to go back to Herod and not to tell him where they found baby Jesus. So they went home a different way. Well, the fourth time we hear about Jesus as a child was when they, when Joseph and Mary went to Egypt. And they had to flee or leave really quickly from um, Israel because King Herod was so jealous about another king in his country. And God spoke to Joseph in a dream and told him to take Mary and Jesus to Egypt where they would be safe. So here's a map here to kind of help you understand where everything's happening. Mary and Joseph came first from Nazareth to Bethlehem where Jesus was born and they took him to Jerusalem as a little baby to be presented and to offer their sacrifices. And then they went back and lived in Bethlehem and that's where the wise men visited, visited Jesus in Bethlehem. And after their visit, God spoke to Joseph and said, I want you to go to Egypt, which is a very long way from Bethlehem. And after King Herod died, we're told that they took, babe, uh, took Jesus, who was older by now, all the way back, and he grew up in Nazareth. So those are the, some of the things we learned about Jesus in his early days. But he did go to Nazareth, and he grew up as a a little boy there and it, we're told that the child grew and became strong in spirit filled with wisdom and the grace of God was upon him and he was raised in Nazareth he was a child and he played with his brothers and sisters and here's some pictures that artists have drawn of what it might have been like to grow up as a little boy in Nazareth he played with his brothers and sisters and he learned in the synagogue 
He ate meals with his family, probably did things like fishing and stargazing. Maybe he planted a garden and helped with household chores. But the big difference is that he was always obedient to God. He lived a perfect life. He didn't say unkind things. He didn't tell lies. He didn't dishonor his parents. He treated others fairly and kindly. He always did those things that pleased his heavenly father. And the last story we read about when Jesus was 12, he visited the temple in Jerusalem. And we're told that he went to celebrate the feast of the Passover with his parents and family members from Nazareth. It was a long journey and probably very tiring. It was about 70 miles from Nazareth to Jerusalem. They probably walked the whole way. It was a long, hard trip. It was also exciting because they were going to celebrate Passover with their family and friends and many other travelers who came to Jerusalem. Remember in Passover, they celebrate a special meal. They celebrate the children of Israel being delivered from Egypt hundreds of years ago, crossing the Red Sea and the deliverance from Pharaoh. They ate special foods and, and just had a wonderful feast and they stayed there about a week. Well, they started back to Nazareth walking, probably, and the family and friends all gathered and they kind of had a caravan. They all traveled together, but they didn't realize Jesus wasn't with them. It said they'd gone about a day's journey, which is a long walk. They realized Jesus was not in the crowd, and Mary and Joseph were very worried. Well, they thought he was with the other travelers, maybe with some cousins or brothers and sisters, and, and he wasn't. So they immediately went back to Jerusalem. And they say, it says in the Bible, it took them three days to find him. Well, guess where they found him? They found him in the temple. And he was talking to scholars, very important people who did nothing but read and study the scriptures. They might have opened up a scroll, kind of like this and read different passages and talked about what it meant and, and discussed wonderful things about God. And it says that Mary and Joseph found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. These teachers realized that they were in the presence of a very divinely gifted young man. And we're told that all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and his answers. It says in the Bible that when Mary and Joseph saw him, they were amazed. And Mary asked Jesus, son, why have you done, to, uh, done this to us? Look, your father and I have sought you anxiously. They were worried. They were his parents and they were, I felt responsible to take care of him and they didn't know where he was. Jesus said, did you not know that I must be about my father's business? He's reminding them that he had come to do the will of his heavenly father. But Jesus left with Mary and Joseph and went back to Nazareth. And it says that he was subject to them. He was a very obedient and respectful child. He honored his parents. Um, we're given these wonderful stories. I count them as six stories about Jesus as a child. I wanted to talk about what we learned from them. In the first story, the Bethlehem story, where he's born, we learn that he came to be our Savior, Christ the Lord. He came to bring peace on earth, goodwill to men. The angels told the shepherds to not be afraid. They brought good tidings of great joy. The angels gave glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Such great news. When he was presented at the temple, we learned that Jesus was expected and waited for. From Simeon and Anna, they recognized him as the savior of Israel and the world. <clears throat> the G Jewish people had been waiting for his arrival for centuries, and they recognized him as the Messiah, the promised one. We also learned that Jesus was especially endowed with God's spirit and favor from birth. So as he grew up, he was far advanced beyond other children when it came to 
grasping the word of God. When the wise men visit, we learn to worship Jesus as the wise men did. <clears throat> Excuse me. They fell down on their knees and worshiped him and offered him gifts. They recognized who he is. In the flight to Egypt, in that story of Jesus' life as a child, we learn that God protected Jesus as he appeared to Joseph in a dream and told him to, to go to Egypt to rescue him from Herod. And in growing up in Nazareth, we learn that Jesus grew up in a regular family and that he was subject to them, that he honored his parents. And in the story of the temple, we learn that Jesus has a much bigger mission his whole life even from the time he's a little boy, is to be about his heavenly father's business. He amazes the people in the temple and his own parents by his wisdom and understanding. From these six stories of Jesus as a child, we learn that Jesus is our best example to follow as a child and as an adult. What a wonderful thing to be said of him in Luke 2.40. And the child grew and became strong in spirit filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. From a book, Children of the Bible, this is something I really liked how it was written. Jesus was as much the son of God when he lay a little child in his mother's arms as he was when he'd grown up and had become the man, Christ Jesus. The wonder of it all, the Lord Jesus Christ, the son of God, who was with God before heaven and earth were made, who was God, was born a little baby. And as he grew up, he had the feelings of a child. He was in all points tempted as we are, yet he was without sin. And from the moment of his birth until he ascended up to heaven after his resurrection, it was his delight to do the will of God. He never ceased to serve God. He was holy, the only holy child, the only holy man that ever walked this earth. I want to end with Luke 2.52, just after Jesus returned to Nazareth from being in Jerusalem with his parents. The passage says, And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Amen.